The transmission control module, otherwise known as the transmission shift solenoid, is part of a system that controls shifts points on an automatic transmission. If your Chevy is suffering from erratic shifting or failure to change gears, it might be time to change the TCM. Before you do that, you should first try resetting it and checking if that solved the problem. To reset the transmission control module in a Chevy, you must disconnect it for 10 to 30 minutes. It's located on the driver's side of the engine bay, right below the windshield. Disconnecting and reconnecting the TCM is simple and requires no tools. Just operate the built-in lever. What is a transmission control module? The transmission control module, or TCM, is a chip that works with other components to determine when the automatic transmission should switch gears. The TCM takes into consideration the current RPM, speed, and load placed on the vehicle, so it can accurately shift gears at the most optimal moment. When you step on the gas hard, the kickdown will make the transmission downshift to give you more power, but otherwise the gear shifts are orientated towards an economical ride. The transmission control module should take into consideration uphill and downhill driving and adjust the gears to those situations. On older transmission systems, this is not the case and the driver must manually shift the gear lever into the third position or L gear to prevent unnecessary shifts. 3. Symptoms of a bad transmission control module The transmission control module failure is always accompanied by one or more symptoms. By knowing how these symptoms present themselves, it's going to be a lot easier to tell when the TCM needs to be reset or changed. 1. A dashboard warning light the check engine light on the check transmission light is the early sign of transmission control module issues. Often, it will appear before the real symptoms, so you can preemptively address the problem. The error code can be read directly off the center dash touchscreen on the modern vehicles, but for anything older, you'll need an OBD2 scanner to determine the exact problem. The scanner will tell you exactly what the issue is, but if it only gives you a code, keep an eye out for P0631 P0700 and P0706 as these are some of the codes related to TCM problems. 2. Hard shifts. Hard shifts are an unmistakable symptom of a faulty transmission control module. Your Chevy would accelerate normally but when it's time to shift gears it would cause a power delay and a jerk as the gear falls in place. The symptom may also be caused by the transmission itself but if you cannot scan, at the very least, you can reset the TCM before conducting further investigation. 3. Failure to shift The most serious symptom of the transmission control module is failing to shift gears. The transmission may go up a couple of gears normally, only to fail to shift further, even when the RPM is high. The symptom presents itself mostly on the upshifts, but it's also possible for it to happen on downshifts, which would cause the engine to stall. When your transmission reaches this stage, it's imperative that you diagnose and fix the issue, otherwise you'll put yourself and the vehicle at risk. How to locate the transmission control module The location of the transmission control module varies between different Chevy models, but on most it will be located in an easy to reach spot. Lift the hood up and take a look at the area on the driver's side of the engine bay, just beneath the windshield you'll find a fairly large metal housing of the transmission control module bolted onto the body with a large connector cable attached to it. 4L60E Transmission Control Module Location The 4L60E TCM is a specific module for the Chevy, located towards the rear of the transmission case right behind the cover. However, on some cars it's found right next to the engine's control module or where you'd usually find a Chevy TCM underneath the passenger side of the engine bay. The 4L60E was used from 1992 to 2006 with one version update. Before it, Chevy used the 4L60 from 1990 to 1992 and the 700R4 from 1982 to 1989. How to reset the transmission control module? Resetting the transmission control module can be done in three ways. One, disconnect the battery leads. Two, Disconnect the transmission control module. 3. Follow the reset procedure. The second method is the most reliable, but it may also be the most complicated if the TCM is located in an inconvenient spot. For that reason, we'll go through all three methods in detail and you can try one or all of them to get the desired results.
1. Disconnect the battery leads. The simplest solution is to just disconnect the positive and negative terminal of the battery and leave the car for 30 minutes. The ECU, TCM and the rest of the electrical components will drain completely and those without permanent storage will reset. 2. Disconnect the transmission control module. Disconnecting the power and data cable from the transmission control module is the most effective way of resetting it. The first step is to locate the TCM. As explained in the previous section, on most Chevy vehicles it is in the upper drive side corner of the engine bay. The transmission control module is connected to a fairly large cable, which is certainly secured in place through a mechanism, so don't forcefully yank it. First, identify the safety latch. It's either going to be a lever or a series of plastic or metal clip-on pins. Before you pull out the plug, it's a good idea to also disconnect the battery just as a precaution. Pull the cable off the TCM and leave it be for a few minutes. Reconnect the TCM and the battery, then check if the transmission control module is working as expected. 3. Follow the reset procedure. The reset procedures are weird most of the time and require you to press the control pedals and turn the key like you're unlocking a secret code. In reality, these procedures work in the majority of the cases as they were built in by the manufacturer to make certain resets easier. Resetting the transmission control module on a Chevy goes as follows. 1. Set the ignition to the on position. 2. Press the gas pedal all the way down and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. 3. Turn off the ignition and release the pedal. 4. Wait for 1 to 2 minutes before touching any of the vehicle's controls. 5. Start the vehicle and drive normally without pushing the engine for about 50 to 100 shifts. The trouble is that the transmission control module may have some memory built in as some learn from the driver's habits and adjust transmission accordingly. For those TCM models, this method will not work. How to change the transmission control module? Changing the transmission control module is just as easy as physically resetting it. There's only the added step of unscrewing the screws and mounting them back with the new TCM. The only thing you need to be careful with is how you handle the new TCM. Think of it more as a delicate computer part than as a robust car component. Even though it has a protective case, it's still prone to impact and shock damage, so work slowly and carefully. To summarize what we talked about in this video, on most Chevy vehicles, resetting the transmission control module is a simple task because it's easy to locate if you need to disconnect it. The reset procedure is also very simple, just a matter of turning the ignition, applying gas, and waiting in the right sequence. The procedure should work on almost all Chevy TCMs, including the 4L60E. We hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of our videos.